Hello and welcome to Adventure Life with Bob. Our last adventure a few weeks ago we looked in Kenya, Africa. Today we are in Teton National Park in Wyoming. Teton National Park and Yellowstone National Park. Two of my favorite places in the western United States. I've been coming here since I was a young child. Our visit was at the end of September and the autumn leaves were really starting to become quite brilliant and colorful. With no foothills to obstruct your view, the jagged peaks in the deep canyons of the Teton Range rise abruptly from the Jackson Hole Valley. The view of the Tetons from any angle or location in the valley is spectacular, particularly from Mormon Row and the Malton Barn. These are leftovers from early Mormon pioneer settlers. Our main goal on this trip was to photograph wildlife, and our first wildlife we saw was pronghorns, the speedsters of the western desert. We decided to uh, take some time and visit uh, Jenny Lake, which is one of the most visited areas in the National Park. It's tucked away at the base of the Teton Range. It's kind of the centerpiece of the park. We decided to take a boat ride across Jenny's Lake uh, to the Inspiration Point and Hidden Falls Trailhead. The trailhead from where the boat drops you off uh, is a beautiful hike to Hidden Falls and Inspiration Point. It's one of the most popular trails in the park and offers a spectacular view of Jenny Lake and a 100 foot cascading waterfall and the whole Jackson Hole Valley. Here's Laura taking a break at uh, Hidden Falls. And taking a little rest before we start the rest of the way up to Inspiration Point. The trail is relatively easy. Um, you gain, it's about a half mile further and you gain about 200 feet in elevation. It can be a little rocky and there's some boulders but uh, again not, not difficult at all. And the view is worth it. Here we are taking a selfie with the Tetons behind us. What a beautiful day. The 
the Chapel of the Sacred Heart, is located on Catholic Bay on Jackson Lake. The beautiful chapel was built in 1937 and is recognized by the Teton County Historic Preservation Society. The Catholic Church owns the chapel and usually offers Sunday services during the summer. I understand it can also be leased out, rented out for weddings, and it's a wonderful place to stop and just meditate for a few moments. The next morning we were out in the Tetons again looking for our primary target, elk. After leaving Tetons, we drove up through Yellowstone National Park to West Yellowstone and then got up early and headed back into the park looking for elk and bison. It's always beautiful to drive around Yellowstone Lake with its many hot pots and geysers that are just off the road. But we were there to look for wildlife. And we really didn't have that long to wait before we ran into our first bison jam. Fire Hole River, with its uh, steam that typically rises off the river in the, sun, in the uh, sunrise, is always beautiful and makes for some wonderful photography opportunities. Even though we were looking for wildlife, 
you got to stop and look at the Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone and Upper and Lower Falls. Absolutely breathtaking. We were surprised to find uh, Rocky Mountain Bighorn sheep. Uh, these were some ewes with their lambs and uh, they were fun to kind of watch for a few minutes as they kind of walked along, nibbled on the grass, and the young ones played a little bit. If you liked our video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Adventure Life with Bob. Again, thanks for watching and stay tuned for our next adventure.